so that's 350 for this side and 350 for that one so that's gonna be 700 bucks and I'm gonna do everything with only 30 bucks so <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to another gpsrt conversion video um today i'm gonna be working on the fog lights the front bumper um i do have the bumper off so if you're doing a conversion or trying to look to avoid paying that those those fog lights because they are expensive especially the um the led um, running like that's down there then watch this video because it is going to save you a lot of money so with that said let's start doing it okay guys so this is where we left off in the last video the car is cleared and everything um but right now we're concentrating on the front side of the jeep as you can see the bumper is off and that's because i have it inside the garage and i'm starting to work on the fog lights like like i already said so um let's go back inside okay guys so as you can see behind me i have the bumper and i have a lot of, a lot of other mess but I have the bumper of the of the jeep and well in this area as you can see i have the the um the vessel or um i don't know what this molding is called but um it's for the fog lights and the daytime running lights so it's like a little led bar that goes right here but for that all the lighting that goes behind that super expensive like 300 and something or 400 bucks per side so um i'm gonna try to avoid that i don't want to pay that much and another thing that i won't have a place to hook it up so um since i don't have a place to hook it up there's no need for me to buy the whole thing because i will find a way to install a led here and uh and a um what's it called a fog light i that's like a two inch gap Oops. There's like a two inch um hole right here so i went and ordered ordered some two inch fog lights so that's what's gonna go in there of course there's no way to hold it i will have to i don't know if i'm gonna have to epoxy it or something so i mean there there it is i'm gonna find a way to make that thing um stay there and that's gonna be my fog light now i'm waiting for for a um, led strip that i ordered off of ebay and hopefully it fits there so for now i'm gonna go ahead and mold this in or at least try to find a way to do it so yeah i'll let you know what worked out okay guys so there it is like i said that's a two inch hole and the fog light is two inches so that fits in there perfectly there's no epoxy there's no glue everything's holding up just by by pressure just by pushing it in let me show you guys the back there it is it just pushed in so now since it's already there i'm gonna find a way to uh, make it stay there um you see that one i will not do that right now because i want to put it back on the on the jeep and and connect it to make sure um the light is pretty much um it's pretty straight so right now they look like they're facing up or pointing up and that's what i don't want i want them to be pointing up exactly the same um as soon as i have them you know pointing straight enough then i will fix them in place so they will move but look at that honestly that looks perfect that looks perfect i couldn't have done it better than well maybe i could have but um i mean you know what i mean that's perfect Okay guys, so finally got this in the mail today. As you can see, I have the fog light installed. Well, it's not installed, it's just there. I'm gonna fiberglass it or or find a way to um, permanently leave it here as you can change the bowl by twisting this. So that's gonna stay there. But um, I still need the LED strip that goes right here. And, and remember this whole piece, though, this whole light, this whole lamp assembly, it's um 350 bucks. So that was, 19 for both and these little led bars were 12 bucks so i'm gonna try to make it look as nice as possible because i'm not gonna pay 350 for this so that's 20 and 12 bucks that's 30 bucks 32 bucks so um it's gonna look okay it's gonna look better than 
well it's not gonna look better than the actual one but i mean it's gonna look really good for being 30 bucks and saving me a lot of money so but first as you can see this one's smaller so it's got the 3m tape so i'm gonna find i have to put something here and then glue this onto that um i don't know if you guys understand me but let me let me let me do something let me figure something out okay guys this is the final results from the front side from the back side it is gonna be pretty ugly i still got some tape right now because i mean it was holding there till the um, glue dried but now it's completely dry so the tape needs to come off I also added some screws but check the front side 20 bucks and 12 bucks for both of them there it is I mean it, it doesn't look identical but I mean hey for what is it 30 bucks for both sides compared to to um what is it 700 bucks way better okay guys so we have the back of the bumper just so you guys can know um, what to do so you're gonna need a piece of aluminum like as you can see I cut this one with some tenseness but a plastic would work also just to give it the shape of the actual um, vessel you know it goes like it's kind of roundish so that's what you need as soon as you lay it there put some tape just to hold it in place for a little bit and then start laying your um your epoxy your epoxy just put epoxy everywhere i also did some screws right here because um the screws are as you can see these are the actual little tabs that hold the that are gonna hold the 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 fog light um but since i have no fog lights these screws are holding on to the to the um aluminum as you can see right here if i if i take them off then the aluminum white might pop out but these are holding so as soon as you your um epoxy dries you should be okay so that's what i did on the back that's it simple as that get 25 dollars off your next purchase of armor shield 9 using promo code cali25 link in video description so it doesn't matter what what it is i said mine is aluminum but you can use just a, a strip of plastic and find a way to um mold it in place epoxy it in place screw it down in place it doesn't matter as long as you have a flat surface that way that aluminum is this black piece back here so I painted that black and this thing comes with the 3m um, double-sided um, tape so that's taped in there and besides the tape I also did epoxy you can see the drops down here so this thing won't be won't go nowhere and and besides that well well the, there's a hole right there to pull the wire out and it's wired right now temporary because I want to know if it works so I cut the actual fog light because um, it did have a fog light so that's where it's cut it where I cut it I mean and then added the new fog light from right here and this is the LED strip so everything is joining to the to the actual fog light so whenever I turn the, the, the fog light everything's gonna light up now do keep in mind that this pink tape it's temporary this thing won't even last a a week outside right here on the on the with the elements but um just for wiring purposes i mean just for testing purposes that's what this um pink um vinyl's for so let me test them out and after i test them out i'm then i'm gonna make this permanent so yeah let me take let me check them out i have all these things installed and they're working properly so tell me that doesn't look cool for being 30 bucks so let's check this thing out okay so there we go let me turn the fog light on and that should trigger the, the leds and the fog light and there it is we got the top leds the bottom leds and the fog light i am going to switch that to an led to make this make it same color so but i will be uh, showing you guys in the nighttime because they are pretty bright especially these these aren't so bright but these are really bright so um there's only one way to see them, especially on, on on the night. So I'm gonna change those those fog lights, like I said, to some LEDs because those yellow ones look look pretty bad. Okay, guys. So it's night time. So it's time to show you guys the daytime running lights and the fog lights. Check 
check it out. They are super bright, super bright. Don't mind the hood guys, the video is coming up pretty soon. I'm still working on it though. Um, but let me know what you guys think of that, of those lights, fog lights and the LEDs. Pretty cool man, pretty cool. And of course the, the tail lights. So, once again guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the fog lights and the daytime running lights. And check out my other videos also. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. And that's it for this video guys, see you guys in the next one.